All right. Well, the with phones are celebrating up there. The phones are going nuts. Everybody wants to congratulate our own Ben, our own Ben Sparks. It starts with Black <laughs> Earl, who's one of the biggest <laughs> Yankee fans here in New York City. Oh, here he is. Hey, Earl. Hello, brother. What's up? I just wanted to congratulate the Red Sox. Oh, did you ever think you'd have to say that? I honestly didn't think I'd ever be alive to see that happen. Why do you congratulate them? Oh. They cheated to beat the Yankees. They didn't do it fair and square. A couple no, of bad well, calls. You know, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I mean, you know what? I mean, it, now, now Red Sox fans and Red Sox players in the city of Boston, there's no excuses anymore. You know what I mean? Oh, no excuses for what, Earl? Yeah. Well, they for not allowing uh, blacks to live uh, in most of the neighborhoods. I mean, what? Well, what are you well, talking about? Well, it's well, uh, so funny because we got a list of things that uh, that uh, was was going on in 1918, the last time the <laughs> the Sox won the World Series. They have lights when they <laughs> when the Sox won the But uh, no, but I mean, for years, for the last couple of years, they always said, "Well, they bought the Yankees bought championships," and well. And this and that. It's like, but you know what? Now that they won a championship, everything changes because their payroll is going to go through the roof. It's going to be just as high as the Yankees has ever been. Earl, no one's worrying about next year yet. Okay, no, everyone no, knows that Pedro that, but... Martinez is going to be a Yankee. But uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. today is the Red Sox day. They won well, the World Series. You know what? When when the Yankees when the Red Sox beat the Yankees, I told Ben, I was like, hey, you know what? Whatever. Congratulations. And enjoy it because the World Series is—it's a great experience if you're a fan. I said enjoy it; it'll be the greatest week of your life. You'll probably win the thing. Earl, you do realize you're not on the Yankees uh, payroll, right? No, no, I'm a. Oh hey, my I'm, God, I'm a New York. He's, he's talking like you know that that you have firsthand experience about winning a World Series. No, but you're just a fan. Calm I down. I haven't seen his ring. I haven't no, seen Earl's World Series ring. ring. Earl has a World Series ring. Earl, where bought. did you get one? I'm sorry. You have a World Series well, ring? It's a, it's a replica. I but, a replica, oh. it, you know, Yankee ring. You you bought, it, and what, do you wear this every single no, day? No, I, I wear it in the. I wear it when the Yankees are in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. you, oh, you break it out when the Yankees are in the playoffs? You have your little <laughs> lucky <laughs> ring, do you? I think he really thinks he's he's part of the Yankees I, organization. I, I, no, I'm just, I'm just being a fan. I'm showing a pride as a fan. That's he all. had it resized and stuff. And yeah. uh, He was out to dinner with us uh, the other night, and he's, he was sporting his Yankees World Series World replica Series ring. ring. That's not why you do it. You probably try to pick up 18-year-old chicks telling them you're Bobby Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Bonds, he's dead. He looks more like uh, Bobby Bonilla. Oh God! <laughs> Him, <laughs> yeah, Bobby Pons is dead. But uh, the the thing that really wouldn't be realistic about that scenario is Earl trying to pick up girls. <laughs> it's probably true. Yes, it it probably is Earl. Earl, yeah. uh, but, but I'm a fan. You know, I'm a fan, but I'm not one of these those the psycho fans where Earl. Let's start a, a new curse, okay? Have you been laid since uh, the Yankees won the World Series? Oh, I've been laid since. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I have. All right, and what was her name? <laughs> I haven't been laid since. The, I have been laid. Listen, since to this Yankees, guys. Since two thousand one. So, so you have been laid since the Yankees won the World Series in two thousand, right? Yes. All right. What's the circumstances of this uh, little exchange? Mm -hmm. What's the cir I am not going into that at all. Ah. All right. What did she look like, Earl? Well, she was hot. I'm not going to lie. All right. Well, what did she look like? Uh, I'm not, I don't know. I went to bed two you hours. You don't know what she looked like? You don't know what she looked like, the last girl you had sex with? <laughs> I don't know whether to not believe you or respect you incredibly. All right, Earl, where did she live? Honestly, she lived, um, oh, God, Mount Vernon. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Mount Vernon. Uh, and and uh, where did you meet her? Actually, <laughs> through you guys, you guys set it up. Hmm. What? Yeah. We set uh, we set you up with the last lay you had. Yeah. We set it up. Uh, explain. Was it? Uh, I kind of remember a chick, uh, a black chick coming in. Yeah, that was her. The black. You chick. didn't get laid with that girl. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I sw I'll swear on a stack of Bibles that I did. Ben. 
First I've ever heard of this. Yeah, because when uh, I, I remember the situation, we brought this girl in to give you lap dances and set you up yeah. on a date, and you, you like, kind of wimped out on us. Yeah. Uh, hey, there was a whole other backdrop, which, I, you, know, you know me, I don't tell anybody Yeah, any. baby. Yeah, Ebony Love. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> so, um, all right, so after the show, you, you had sex with this girl? Uh, yeah. And where did you have sex with this fine young lady? My apartment, among other places. Yeah, his bachelor pad. Among other places? <laughs> what were some other places, if you don't mind me inquiring? His if imagination I mean... <laughs> was one. <laughs> Earl? Yeah. You didn't get laid. No, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I'm not going to lie about that. Earl? No, I'm not lying. Oh, he did say he'd swear on a stack of Bibles. And that's right up there with Pinky Promise from a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Earl. Uh, we're going to let you go. So you congratulate the Sox fans today, all right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm like, I, you know, I'm a gracious enough loser <laughs> to say that. Well, you've had a lot of practice. Can I ask a question? <laughs> Earl? Was Earl? The, Earl? Yeah. Was the last person you had sex with Joe Causey? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, Earl. We're going to let you be. All right, guys. Bye, Earl. Talk to you later. Sorry I asked you that. I didn't mean it. It's it's very uncomfortable when we talk about Earl and his sexual history because we know he doesn't get laid. Where's she from? Uh, Mount Vernon? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee he's watching the news and Mount Vernon just flashed across. Oh, I something. know. <laughs> Lucky it, it was it wasn't Baghdad. Yeah. Is Let's say where hi, uh, he lived or what he did, Mount Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very good.